with the plankton. Do you know what happens if they flip the plankton or do something to them? It won't just be like Monsanto killing most of our soil in the U.S. on purpose. Coming out with new seeds that can grow in their toxic waste. And admitting that's their plan to their shareholders. Total takeover. Total rewrite. Total genetic Armageddon. And the rest of the world, even the kleptocratic Russians, are looking at the Chinese just doing every form of testing and not caring, even outdoing the United States. And other countries are just totally freaked out. And world leaders, by the way, I know folks that know a lot of world leaders, and I personally, off air, you know, talk to senators and Congress people that you've not even heard on this show. And they're scared, too. Do you, you think I'm the only smart person around? They just can't act like me. They can't get up and jump up and down like a chicken with their head cut off, even though they want to, because they know the media will probably destroy them. But a time is coming when that will not destroy you. Because stuff's going to get so bad. We go ahead and tell the truth now or it's all over. Do you want me to apologize to you, Rachel Maddow and Glenn Beck? Because you're up on air and, and your other hosts are saying that you know, that I want to lock up Glenn Beck's people in a forced labor camp. He said that within, I'm the type of person, we're the type of group. We played the clip yesterday that would not give them a trial and arrest them for their speech. Well, what the hell is that? Never said any such thing. And that, and that I, I, I'm the group that wants violence and I'm the bad guy. Alex Jones, don't go with that group. They want violence. Why do you think the power structure is doing that? Because they're scared of us, ladies and gentlemen. They know I'm real. They know I'm committed. To this fight. And they know if you get this message and verify it for yourself and look at the data, you're going to make a decision. Because that's what I'm good at is getting people to make decisions. What I'm good at is talking straight to people. Right to their gut. Right to their soul. I'm a straight shooter and everybody knows it. And I'm telling you folks, I don't have words to describe how much danger we're in on the genetic engineering front, the chemical weapons front the bio-warfare front, the nuclear war front, the kleptocrat front, the elites throughout history go insane with the megalomaniacal power. They're going insane right now, and they think they're going to merge with machines, and they don't even care if there's a nuclear war. They think their super deep bunkers are going to protect them under the, the Rockies, and they're not going to. And you have to understand, folks, that, that the evil mindset, the evil energy that they've tuned into wants to b destroy things, wants death, wants murder, wants mayhem, wants disintegration. And no one can deny that. Look at what world leaders do. Look at what crazy emperors do. Look at Vlad the Impaler. Look at Caligula and Nero. Look at Adolf Hitler. Look at Stalin. Look at Lenin. Look at Mao Zedong. Do you know the admitted habits of Mao Zedong? Do you know what's happening in Japan? Where kids are continuing just to have convulsions all over the country and, and, and cancer rates are off the chart and total mental illness is setting in because an honorable people have been turned into dishonor by the New World Order? The, the, the uh, adult diapers are outselling baby diapers, and not just because they're an aging population. The new fad, because the Japanese are so into cleanliness, is for people to poop on themselves. You see, people that were so obsessed with cleanliness and taking hot baths every day and, and so into beauty, now are into ugliness. Call it satanic, call it whatever you want. It is what it is, and it's spreading Everywhere, ladies and gentlemen, a spirit of evil. Now, you take people wanting to poop on themselves. I'm sorry to talk like that, but that's what's going on. And you take it to the New World Order level. What's really sick? Destroy the planet. Kill everyone. But do it slowly. Kill the babies. Mutate the humans. Mutate the animals. Pour out all the genetic garbage. Create total disease. Break up the family. And then, only then, when you've destroyed the soul of humanity, turn us into a technocracy, only then... Do you destroy the entire planet as an act of willing? And I'm paraphrasing some poetry by a top transhumanist. I forget his name. It's an endgame. 
one of the top people that advises Google and Kurzweil and everybody was our nihilistic program of willing will go on and we may just destroy the planet as an act of supreme willingness and our total will for the black power. I mean, you know, it's just, 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 and, and, and you're just like reading this and it's just like, wow, wow, what a commitment to darkness. What a commitment. I think there's a song that describes it. Will you guys find Danzig's uh, The Stalker? If you can find it during the break, we'll play it coming back in. So that, that's what I think of when I think of Obama and the, and the BLM and all these evil people crouching how they're good and they want to help you and they want to be nice and they care about the kids. They want to slit your throat ear to ear. People like Rachel Maddow just like being in power and think she's in charge and has her fake liberal template programming obsessed with, you know, gender. Okay, she, she's just a bot. But the people above her, they are literal. Ring race is the way to describe them. Undead. Open the phones up. Uh, it's just so upsetting to see how we've been overrun at Waco, overrun at Ruby Ridge, overrun thousands of times. They're training the police and military to fight the American people openly. It's total treason. They're gutting the country, shutting down our industries, bankrupting everything the globalists don't own. A total ruthless siege. And then finally, a vestigial remnant of people act a little bit like our forebearers did and get beat up and attacked so more people show up and they get beat up and attacked so more show up and say all right we're marching in you say you're going to shoot us go ahead and do it and that is incredible they would say come across that line we're going to shoot you i mean they were so cowardly they were so scared of citizens that instead of even talking to them they were saying we're going to shoot you and then once they walked up to them then they talked to them and they blinked and they backed off and it shows they're afraid. That's why they dress up like Cobra Commander to try to scare us. Well, let me tell you something. Dressing up like Cobra Commander and driving around in black armored vehicles does not scare me. It scares me that I'm not doing enough to fight you. It scares me that I'm a coward and that I'm not doing enough. And, you know, you got people saying that I'm calling for violence. I'm not. The globalists are coming down on us with violent taxation. The power to tax is the power to destroy. The globalists are coming down on our families. They're coming down on us medically. Obamacare is the biggest screw job ever to, meant to bankrupt this country on record. And the guy that helped write it, Ezekiel Emanuel, admits it's meant to destroy the system. That is a criminal conspiracy. The federal judge said of the BLM this year in a ruling and last year, it was last year, actually it was in December, we read part of the ruling yesterday that the BLM is part of a criminal conspiracy to bankrupt ranchers. Hey, pay your fair share, freeloading, lazy, seventh-generation rancher in the desert. When they've run everybody out of business and it's all a fraud. You can have a coal power plant, we're just going to bankrupt you. Don't you people get it? You're under attack. I don't know what we should do, but admit you're under attack. Admit this government's a foreign occupation force. Absolutely fact. No Thank debate. Sucking us dry, in the dark, sucking our blood. GCN to hell with Nosferatu. To hell with the New World Order. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products, and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip.